Hi everyone, it's you with Lucy from Art Shed Angel and Lucy's Craft Cafe and I'm so happy to have you in my studio again. Today I want to show you how to make a little book using some little tiny canvases that you can buy, some modelling paste and doing some beautiful things with metallics. So if you like my videos, please make sure that you do subscribe and click that button and then also if you'd like to join my group with Jolene Payne which is live art journaling and self-development the link is below so thank you very much and let's get started So, what I have here is a little book that I've already made some holes and things in but I will show you how to do that now I have already put the paste on this so that we can get started but I just wanted to show you how to put modeling paste on to start off with and I'm using a colored piece of canvas which can look really effective as well so I have bought for this process I have bought little canvases that um, are really quite useful for making book covers and we're going to put a little bit of a lining on the inside of that as well they're very affordable and I'm going to use some modeling paste and with the modeling paste you just need to have a palette knife and what I'm going to do is take a chunk of modeling paste um, you can actually use some tape to hold this down if you really want to just use a bit of washi tape I have here on my bench so I'm just putting this down so that I end up with the paste where I want it to be so all you need to do is put your paste down and then go across the page so you don't want this lifting while if you're putting this across and you're just going to scrape closely like this so I am I'm not going to do it over the whole stencil I, I tend to go a bit backwards and forwards to make sure that I have it where I want it to have uh, want it to be sorry I'm just going to put a little bit more here so make sure that you use your palette knife at an angle so that you're not squishing it underneath the numbers or whatever it is that you're using this works with lots of different stencils and I love it if you see that you've rubbed a bit away and just before I finish I'm not trying to get a really smooth effect especially when I'm using an image like that and what I'm going to do now is pull it back up and you can see that I have that stenciled on there so that will then dry it will take a little bit of time for drying so I try not to force dry this because you can bubble it up I just put it out in the sun for a little while or if you're somewhere where you have radiators you can put it over your radiator or a heater for a little while in a safe spot So I have my little book all prepared. I, I, I did this earlier so that I wouldn't hold you up watching too long. But I have my, made my pages with my jelly plates. So these are pages that I did some practice jelly plates that I keep and I've just cut them to size. So these little squares are 10 by 10 I think centimeters and I have done my little jelly plates nine and a half centimeters by nine and a half centimeters. Now I have these little clips here which are really really great I got them on um, eBay actually and I have made my holes into the cardboard with my cropper doll and that's really great for making holes through quite thick things and also you can put um, grommets and things like that in as well so I'm going to pull it apart because the first thing we're going to do is we're going to paint it. So this part of it here, there is actually a video on my site on how to do jelly plate prints and there it's lots of fun and I will be doing another video very soon. Now I had some of these canvases and I was wondering what I was going to do with them. So this one here, already I started painting something on it which I didn't like. So to paint this I am using Dilutions paint which is pomegranate seed which is a really really pretty colour and um, it looks fantastic 
on this and it also shows a kind of a pinky colour where the raised parts are. So it's the dilutions paint that I'm using here. So the next thing I'm going to do is make sure this is dry and then I'm going to also add another colour. So you can see there when I hold it the texture shows up so beautifully when you start to get that depth. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add some blue and this is after midnight which is also a dilutions colour. Now because it's quite transparent it's showing the maroon through or the pomegranate through and I want that. I want it to actually have kind of darkish areas so wipe it away if you get too much on it if it gets too blue and you can see that it's a really nice effect that you get making sort of it gives you a basis for the colours that we're going to put over the top and the metallics we're going to put over the top. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Robinson & Co copper and I'm going to rub this on. Now it's really important that you use your finger very, very flat. So I'm putting some paint on my Tim Holtz mat. Oh, that's why I love using this glass mat and I'm going to really lightly rub this on. Now that's the important thing here, is the lightly rubbing on of this. If you press too hard, you're gonna push it all in the grooves, so you wanna just put it really lightly and all over the image, or you could leave some areas clear too if you like. But you'll see when I um, move it around that the copper is now in certain areas and it looks really spectacular. So I'm going to use some gold on this as well, but I'm going to use the base colour as copper. Okay, so just put it on both. And this is going to show up the lovely Tim Holtz stencil, which is kind of a steampunky looking stencil. So just make sure you just put little amounts down. You don't want to put a, a huge amount down. The next thing I'm going to do is just close my lid on my copper first. I'm actually going to use some Dirty Martini, which is a green dilutions paint. And I'm going to mix a little bit of this into the copper so that I can get a bit of a verdigris effect. So I'm just putting a little bit and mixing it in on my glass um, mat. And this will give like a dirty green and I'm only going to put it in certain sections and it actually is very, very effective, especially with the copper within it. You can see there it adds a whole other level and I love, I love to use colours together to create depth and I feel that the more different sort of colours that you use, you can create really unique depth to your work. So I'm also going to add some embellishments to this one here and I'm just deciding I don't think I need the heart and I'm also going to use the wings and I want to put these embellishments on but I don't actually like this silver colour so I'm going to take them and paint them. So it's perfectly fine to paint embellishments in this case, you can actually spray them with a bit of sealer if you want but I'm not going to worry about it because it's not something that's going to be terribly damaged and I'm just painting it here with the copper. Now I do love this um, Robinson um, acrylics, that the metallics. And here I, I don't want that little hook thing on the wings, so I'm just using pliers to cut them off. Now to finish off before I put all this on, I'm just using a little bit of gold and doing the same technique that I did before, making sure that I dry it all off before I start to stick things on. And I'm also going to put a tiny little bit of, um, of that um, pomegranate over the top of the copper. And I'm going to use my gold here. I have some lovely lace and I'm using my gold to paint that lace gold because I don't want it to be just white. And that's now going to go over the top and I'm going to stick my embellishments on this. Now I'm just using a craft glue. And you can see I'm sticking it. I'm using the craft glue to stick these things on. You could use E6000, which is a really great glue. And you can see here, I'm just sticking them kind of randomly. I don't want those wings to be perfectly in line. And I'm adding those little leaves as well, 
just near there. And I'm going to use the gold now and you can see I'm just rubbing the gold lightly again with the flat finger to give a little bit of more depth to it. So when we add more layers, we get more depth. So the inside of my um, little canvas, I'm going to stick one of those pages on. So I've just decided I want to add a few more little beads here. So I'm just sticking some little purple beads because we've got all those colours in the actual background. And it's really nice to do that, use colours that are within the background as well. And I'm going to now put it together. I have put an insert in the front of it, putting my beautiful pages on, putting it together. So if you loved my video and please make sure that you subscribe to me and also join me at Live Art Journaling and Self Development. Thanks very much, everyone. This is such a fun project. You're with Lucy. Thank you.